Hi, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be covering everything that you need to know to get started with the new Spacey Experimental Co-Reference Resolution. Now, if you don't know a lot about Co-Reference Resolution, I'm providing a link in the description down below to an amazing uh, Explosion AI article on Co-Reference Resolution. It kind of gives you some background information, some key concepts, such as uh, span clustering, and it's also going to give you a, a good detailed uh, kind of description about what we're going to be covering in this video. Now, in this video, I'm not going to do a deep dive on co-reference resolution. Instead, I'm focusing mainly on how to get you up and running with it very quickly in Python with just a few lines. And it's going to have to have us install a couple different things that we're not used to really installing on this channel, including Spacey Experimental and pip installing a, um, a, a model from GitHub directly. I'm going to walk through all these steps, and by the end of this video, you'll understand how to use Spacey's new experimental co-reference resolution model in your own pipeline. So let's go ahead and jump into our uh, code right now. In this repository, I'll have a link in the description down below. You'll have access to all of this, this prepared uh, uh, Jupyter notebook that you can go ahead and use on your own, as well as the requirements.txt file. So two things I want to draw attention to. If you're not familiar with how to install uh, from a requirements.txt file, that's okay. We're going to do this manually at the start right now. So we're going to install two things that you probably don't have installed on your system right now. That's going to be this Spacey Experimental Library, which is where Spacey kind of ha has all of their uh, kind of experimental uh, components that you can kind of start demo uh, demoing now and playing around with now in your own workflows. And the reason why I'm doing this video on Spacey's co-reference resolution system, I've, I've done a video in the past on one from Classy, or from those, the creators of Classy Classification, which is called Cross-Lingual Co-reference Resolution. This library is a little bit different because it's Spacey built. So it's built by Spacey and designed for Spacey. This means that you don't have to do some uh, workarounds with other co-reference resolution libraries such as Allen NLP, which is how cross-lingual co-ref actually works. Instead, you're able to use a spacey model that was designed for a spacey pipeline. And this will make your projects that are pretty complex a little easier to kind of find working libraries or working versions of different libraries uh, for you. So again, we're going to be installing pip install spacey experimental. And if you're in a notebook, remember you can always install with pip with an exclamation mark. So you can say pip install, and you're going to install spacey-experimental, just as you see here. And if I were to execute this, I'm going to see that I already have it installed in this environment. And this raises a very good point. I highly recommend that you work in a fresh Conda environment. If you're not sure how to do that, there are plenty of YouTube tutorials out there. If, if you don't have a lot of projects going on, the chances are you, don't, you can kind of skip this step and it should work just fine. But you're going to want to make sure that you're working with at least Spacey version 3.4. And if you don't know how to check that, you can always use pip show. So I can say pip show spacey, and it's going to show the version of spacey and where spacey is located on my system. And I can see that I'm working with spacey, spacey version 3.44. Now spacey 3.5 just came out last week. I haven't tested this solution with that. So stick with 3.44 for right now. And as I see it kind of develop, I tested a bit more. I may post a, another video down the road working with 3.5. Um, the next thing that we're going to want to do, and this is a little unconventional from uh, from simpler projects, is you're going to want to pip install something directly from GitHub. Now, the way in which you do that is you would treat this just like any other pip installation. It's going to go and it's going to grab the actual wheel, the, the installation wheel, and allow for you to install it. And if you what you do is you just copy and paste from line three in this requirements, you can run pip install, and you're going to paste that in very long. But this should work, and I've already got this model installed on my system. It's about 500 megabytes, and it's the model that is used for co-reference resolution by Spacey. And this will finish in just a second, and it'll show that I already have the model installed. But once you've got the model installed, and once you've installed Spacey Experimental, you can go ahead and start using the new co-reference resolution model from Spacey. And we can do that with just two lines of code. And these are going to be ones that you're already probably somewhat familiar with. You're going to load up your spacey model as you would in any other instance. Let's go ahead and do these on two separate lines so we can do them piece by piece. So first we're going to load up our NLP object. So this is going to be the standard spacey pipeline. And notice that the name that we're giving it is the name of the co-reference resolution model. So en underscore co-ref underscore uh, co-reference underscore web underscore TRF. So this is the transformer model, and it's going to have the co-reference model lo loaded up for us so we can actually do some co-reference resolution. 
the next thing that we need is we need a text to run over this model over. So here's going to be the sample demo text. And a lot of what you're going to be seeing here is coming from a great GitHub forum that I'm going to link in the description down below, which is right here that is from on the actual explosion uh, spacey uh, forums. And it goes through and walks you through how to load up one of these. This took a little while for me to find um, find this. So I'm going to give the link to you all in the description down below, but it's very useful. Go through and read the form. We're going to be covering a little bit of the code in this video that I found from here. So once we've got our uh, NLP object loaded up, we can pass it over a document as we've just done there. Now at this stage, we actually have already done co-reference resolution. It's that simple. Um, and so we can know this because we can access in the doc.spans. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with doc.spans, this is kind of like the doc.ints for named entity recognition. Spans, however, are a so soft classification problem. Uh, that means that you can have spans that can align with multiple labels. And doc.spans is where this is going to sit. Now, doc.spans is going to be a, a, um, a dictionary which is going to consist of multiple keys. Each key will point to a specific kind of, um, in our case with this, clusters. But you could have, if you're working with a span ruler, you can have the spans, and one of the dictionaries can be a, a ruler key that's gonna to point to all the different matches for a span, uh, a span cat component in Spacey. You can have SC, which is going to point to uh, your machine learning uh, results from a span uh, from a span uh, component in Spacey. But in our case, this is going to always be coref underscore clusters underscore some kind of number. And each of these clusters points to a grouping or a clustering of spans or sequence of spans that point to all the same thing. So in our text, the cats were startled by the dog as it growled at them. Now, this is kind of a complex query, right? Um, for this model to actually be able to figure this out, it can point to two uh, different antecedents potentially, right? But not really, because cats is plural and dog is singular. It is a pronoun that points to an antecedent or a reference point that is by default going to be singular. And as we can see here, the Spacey co-reference resolution model has correctly clustered both the dog and it, which is doing the growling, as one cluster. It has resolved these two separated span sequences into being the same lumped item or the same thing doing both of these different components, both when it's named explicitly and when it's named via a pronoun. Now we see we've got actually two clusters here. So we have another cluster of spans that are linked together, that are referenced together. And we've resolved them. The cats were and them. So we know that the cats and them are both the exact same object according to this model output. And I've done some experimentation. I, I'm working on a spacey pipeline that is specifically geared towards doing uh, contextual and uh, ethical um, gender identification within texts to help us uh, find and extract uh, women who worked at the Smithsonian in our annual reports and documents. And so with a lot of experimentation, I've found that this co-reference resolution system works far better and far easier than most other solutions that are out there, including the ones from cross-lingual co-ref. Um, but one thing that is notable here is the way in which Spacey is going about doing this co-reference resolution. What you're seeing is just one output, but what you don't see during this process is that it's doing the resolving by identifying what it calls the actual heads of a, of a cluster. So in our case, the heads of this cluster would be dog and it, and sometimes the head could be just one component of a multi-word token, such as Mr. George Smith. It might just be grabbing Smith, or it might just be grabbing George as the, the head token. And it sometimes is gonna be useful to be able to find and still parse and read out those individual uh, components. And one of the ways that we can do this, just one of the ways, it's a little bit more complex, but this is when you want to take the, uh, the co-reference resolution pipeline and load it into some other pipeline. And this is again, code that is coming straight from this blog. And this allows for you to actually do this by replacing the listeners for the transformer, both for the co-ref and the span resolver. In other words, it's actually keeping the span cleaner, which eliminates the, the head clusters from your output. It keeps that completely out. So one of the things that you can do is you can either just simply disable the span cleaner, or you can create a new pipeline where you just don't add it into your actual 
finalized pipeline. And let's go ahead and see what this code looks like. When we execute it, this is gonna take a little bit longer because we're loading up essentially two spacey models, uh, pipelines all at once, uh, but it's done. And again, I can type in doc.spans and now I've got a slightly different output. And the reason why we have a slightly different output is because what we're working with is the head data as well as the cluster data. And notice that the number here, one, is going to always point to its um, other counterpart in the doc.spans dictionary. So coref clusters one, which contains the entire sequence of tokens that are being resolved, is going to, po to point to coref head cluster one, which is going to be just the individual heads. Now for certain problems, it's very useful having access to the head clusters. So again, either simply disable the span cleaner or create a pipeline that's not going to be using it when you pull from the co-reference resolution model. But again, this video has shown you how to start working with co-reference resolution in your own workflow, all with Explosion AI models and pipelines all in place. That's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful, helpful, and somewhat allowing you to start working with this data on your own. If you get confused or you have errors, drop some comments in the, uh, the comments down below and I'll try to comment back or help out as much as I can. Um, again, this is all experimental, so I expect over the next few months as Spacey rolls this out, there's gonna be some updates, some changes, but as of right now, this is how you can go about working with co-reference resolution, all in Spacey from Spacey. Again, if you get a lot out of this channel, please do consider uh, liking and subscribing down below or supporting it via Patreon. There's a link for all these down below in the description. All the money that goes into this channel goes back to the channel and helps keep all of this, uh, this information free to the public. And also one of the things I'm doing now on this channel is I'll be posting a Medium article that'll go along with each of these videos. So keep an eye out for that as well. Thank you for listening.